Hey old school gamers, time for another episode of old school gameplay, this time featuring Konami's run and gun classic Contra. So, no time to waste, let's get going. Stage 1 starts nice and slow, so time for you to learn game basics. These flying capsules as well as the metal boxes contain weapon upgrades, so grab them if you can. Remember that if you lose a lot, you lose your current weapon. Jump down here and continue through the water. Whenever you see this, try your best to collect it. It's the spread gun, the most useful weapon in the game. Do everything you can to keep it, because it makes the game a lot easier. The only down point is that the rapid fire won't work with it. The first boss fight is really simple. First get rid of the guy up there, then jump on the middle platform. Once you're here, just fire Ray at the red glowing field, he won't be hit. Very soon the barrier will be destroyed and you're ready to enter stage 2. In order to advance in the base levels, you need to destroy the energy cores on the opposite wall. You can destroy the cannons first, but it's not always necessary. Whenever possible, try to duck down, so the shots won't hit you. Quickly move away from the rolling pipe bombs here. In this room concentrate on the big energy core and duck if the cannons are firing. In the second boss, destroy the lower three energy cores first. Then take care of the two cannons. After that, simply shoot up and destroy the final part. You can destroy its shot. Good work, right on to stage 3. Be careful not to stand on a falling boulder, otherwise simply make a way upwards. Dodge the fire from the bridge and continue right.
Then you finally work your way up here, jump to make the screen move. It's time for another boss battle. First, destroy the two arms and dodge the shots the enemy creature is firing. Once you get rid of those, the hard part is over. Now just move under its mouth and fire up. Next up is another base stage. The second base is essentially the same as the first one. The only difference is that the power cords are now covered by plates, which have to be destroyed first. Other than that, you can use the same techniques to survive as in the first base. The easiest way to survive this room is to stay exactly in the middle. This boss battle is quite similar to the one in the first phase. First destroy the power cores and keep an eye on the enemies that appear. Then destroy the gun and just fire up. To make it easier, destroy the shots fired at you. Alright, we're halfway through and this ends part 1 of our walkthrough. Stay tuned for the next one.